Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Sunday, February 23rd. I'm just doing my second update. This is week two now. So two weeks in doing videos on BitChute and YouTube. Same videos, just posting them up around the same time. So it's taking some time out to do a quick recap and talk about a couple things I've learned during the week. So take a look here. YouTube analytics, 96 views for the week, baby. <laughs> That was the last seven days. Uh, the week prior was at, I think, about 150 views. So we're down for the week. I put up a video each day. I also put up some vacation videos from late last year. But this is mainly just views on the six videos I put up during the week. 96 views. Take a look here real quick. I'll show you. Here you can see the watch time in hours is down 50% from the previous week. The duration of each view, 1 minute 42 seconds, down 23%. And then the audience, like I was saying, 58 units unique views, 1.3 views per viewer, and those subs at a nice zero, baby. So two weeks, no subs yet, but I haven't been doing much engagement with Twitter, commenting on other people's videos, all those things they tell you to do. So with YouTube, it's a lot different. I think for individuals who are really trying to come onto YouTube and use it as a means to make money, then obviously you have to spend a lot more time at it than I do in terms of engaging with other content, going on other videos, commenting, trying to get people to subscribe to you. I don't do any of that. As I said, I haven't really commented on anybody's videos. And you can see the results show. <laughs> They also have some tools out there. I watched some videos just doing some research on it. They were talking about how to use SEO to your advantage. So I would say check out some of those videos if you want to get into all of that. Uh, the thing I did notice is the individuals doing these SEO videos are a little bit strange. I mean, I don't know. They come off as a little bit weird and annoying to me. There was even one girl on there. She's talking about... And we're not going to name any names here. But she was talking about the video was aimed at content creators. So individuals actually creating the videos for an audience and trying to make money off of YouTube. But she was talking about voicing her satisfaction, I guess, at the way she's been able to retain her audience, grow her audience, and then turn that into money, which is cool. That's what most people are here to do. They're here on YouTube. If you're creating, you're trying to make money at it, right? But the thing she said that kind of like made me step back for a second is she said that she said that she looks to nurture her viewers nurture your viewers what are you talking about she's some 35 year old woman i'm like and i'm just sitting there thinking like, you're younger than me i don't need a mom i don't need somebody to nurture me you're, it seems kind of creepy to me just to describe it that way to nurture an individual to get them to spend money on your products and watch ads and stuff like that but that's youtube right here let me show you something real quick these are the current videos here so you see i got seven views 14, that's a vacation video, we'll skip that. So 11, four, six. And the thing that's funny is I put that first week's video up, like my very first week on YouTube, and this thing actually had zero views for about nine or 10 days. So I was actually, when it got to that point, I was like, oh man, maybe it'll go the entire two weeks without getting a view and then I can make a video like something like, what if you made a, a YouTube video and nobody saw it? So it'd be funny if I was talking about my first week on YouTube and nobody actually saw it. So two videos for that one. Hopefully this one will get three views. <laughs> But you see here likes versus dislikes, not too much. Somebody gave me a thumbs down on the Nevada caucus video I did. But I'm doing just mainly news videos, been talking about coronavirus a lot, and then politics at this point. And it'll expand out. That's YouTube though. A one thing I did here that they were talking about if you're a YouTube individual is you can actually go through and watch all of your videos yourself. That's what individuals will do. So they'll go through and watch the video fully and then give it its own thumbs up so that it starts off with a good average watch time and a thumbs up and I guess and the more thumbs up you get obviously and the longer your watch time and average watch time then the higher you'll rank. So that's one thing that I have learned from watching a lot of these individuals but I haven't really gone through and watched my videos yet. So maybe sometime during this week I'll have a chance to do that. All right, so that's YouTube. Let's shift over to BitChute. All right, so here's BitChute itself. On YouTube, you saw zero subs. So here, I actually got five subscribers so far. So thank you guys and gals out there for subscribing. I believe I had two last week. It might have been three. So I've been able to pick up a couple more during the past week. Now, if you remember, though, on YouTube, we had about a little bit under 100 views. And in BitChute, you can't see the analytics as far as I know in terms of time people have watched your video and everything like that, but had only about 100 views for the week on the YouTube videos. And like I said, BitChute, I'm putting them up at around the same time. When I tweet about it, I'll put the link for both up there. 
again with Twitter not really doing much engagement either and I'll talk about that in my next segment of this video but as you can see here if you look at the most viewed videos a video I did on February 22nd yesterday actually so an update overseas on the 22nd actually got over a hundred views on its own so this one video on BitChute got more than all my YouTube views for the week interesting right like I'd said before YouTube was over 2200 times larger in terms of its audience according to the research I did but that's what I was telling people last week is you just never know where you're going to find your audience. It could be here on BitChute, it could be on YouTube, it could be on any number of the other platforms, the Subscribe Stars, Patreon, Minds. There's so many of them out there and I haven't had a chance to look at those or upload videos onto those yet. Like I'd mentioned in my last video, I'll take a look at some of the other free sites and try to see if those are places where I can put my content up there. May as well upload it, you shoot the video, right? You may as well put it elsewhere. Like I am emphasized last week not putting all your eggs in one basket. Look around, put your content up on multiple sites if you can, and try to see where your audience comes from. Try to see where you're getting the most love at. <laughs> but yeah, here clearly more subs. I get a lot more interaction with the comments and stuff like that. So thanks to all of you on BitChute again who are watching and commenting. I appreciate it. And you know I try to interact with all the comments as much as I can. So keep those comments coming, guys and gals. I love them. Keep them interesting. I love reading them and replying back to you. Take a look here. Scroll through the videos for the week real quick. The caucus video I put up only had 27 views. People seem more interested in the news type stuff at this point. The corona stuff relative to politics. I know politics are boring. <laughs> 103 views on the corona video I talked about here. 60 on that one. These are vacation videos here. 34 on a video I did talking about communist radio in Kansas City. 41 on the caucus stuff earlier in the week. I'll be talking about South Carolina coming up this week. And then you see here. 47 views on my video talking about my first week on YouTube and BitChute. So remember, I had what, two? Was it, or was it three? <laughs> got, to, got to make sure we get that right. We don't want to cheat ourselves by a view. But that's what I said. You just don't know where your audience is going to come from and what they're going to be searching for. So again, advice, just if you have time, search out the different platforms, see which ones have the largest reach, I guess I would say, and then try to post your stuff on multiple platforms. Alt tech, as I said, they call it. And YouTube, I guess, being the main tech or whatever, but alt tech. Alternate sites, just making sure you search those out. Try to show some love there. Uh, the main thing I'd say is whatever site you're on, just make sure to keep interacting with the people that are watching your videos. Show some love for those people. A lot of times we start out small, obviously, or minuscule, like in my situation and you have all this time to interact with people, but then as you start to grow, then you start to lose that. So the thing I would say is make sure you don't lose touch with being able to make sure you appreciate and show the love for those individuals that are taking time and watching your videos because people's time's valuable. And when I'm editing my videos, I definitely try to make sure I take out all of the little pauses and breaks and stuff that I can in, in the clips and try to get those as short as possible just because I value people's time. So that's BitChute. Again, I wish there was a way to see the analytics here so I could compare that, but let me move on to Twitter real quick. All right, here's Twitter. I don't really spend any time interacting on here. 21 tweets. I tweet out something every time I put out a video. For instance, when I did the caucus, I put up the video there, put the bit shoot link up. Most of the time I'll put both links up if there's enough space, and then I'll just add some tags with what the video was about. So since this one was about the Democrats, I was talking about Bernie and Pete and Elizabeth. So I, I tagged them. I thought I'd tag Biden in there too, but I guess not. You go over here, click on these tweet analytics, 135 impressions, four total engagements, two link clicks, two hashtag clicks, whatever that means. I haven't had any messages. I think I had one person like a tweet that I sent. That was last week though. But again, haven't really got too much into that. I actually just recently, since I'm going to be talking about the Democrats a lot, went ahead and followed all the individuals that are still in the race for president. Obviously, we know Trump's getting the nomination for the Republicans, so we don't really need to talk about that too much. But followed those individuals, sent some tweets out about that. Let me show you something I... I talked about here. 
So I'll show you this tweet I sent out real quick. This is Tom Steyer. This was a little bit earlier, 42 minutes ago. I had just seen it, something he had tweeted out earlier today. He said something about how due to Republican policies that American workers had been suffering for far too long. You can take that for what you will, whatever side of the aisle you're on. Me, I'm just here hanging out in the center, just trying to stay apolitical in a way and just kind of observe this so I can be unbiased in a way when I'm giving my rundown of the political situation. So he made the tweet saying how how horrible policies were under Republicans, basically. But of course, he's got the answer. He's got the grand solution. So when he said that, I said, at Tom Steyer, can you provide us some facts about how horrible American workers have been doing lately? And then threw a hashtag in there. My guess is I won't get a reply, but <laughs> but then again, I'm a nobody. I've got zero followers, and who knows if these tweets even show up. So that's Twitter. I got no followers so far, but very limited engagement. And over time, I'll try to get into a little bit more of that. I just have to be cognizant of what I'm replying to and trying to keep it with the content that I'm talking about. That's the week two wrap up. Again, bit shoot kick YouTube's butt. <laughs> so I'll get another video out for week three, but thanks for watching this one, everybody. And like always, leave me some comments and stuff like that. I love reading them. Take care, everybody.